Uh, so uh, we have this uh, new multi-purpose helicopter presented at this exhibition, which is the new iteration of uh, Kama 32, which is the Kama 32 A11M. Uh, uh, compared to the pre compared to its predecessor, it has a series of uh, new mo new systems of equipment, including the uh, radar system, which allows it to operate at daytime, at nighttime, and which allows it to basically be a multi-purpose helicopter. <laughs> Вот, комплекс бортового оборудования позволяет снизить нагрузку на легкий экипаж воздушного судна, а также повысить его функциональную безопасность. So once again, as we can say, uh, it has a new digital uh, radar system which allows uh, you basically to fly and uh, operate it uh, only via the screens, which, uh, which significantly facilitates uh, the work of the pilot crew. Также совместно с модернизацией комплекса бортового радиоэлектронного оборудования данный двигатель получил более мощные двигатели ВК-2500. And also uh, with the upgrades of the radio electronics equipment, there are also new sets of uh, engines installed, which are the VK-2500 engines. Вертолет эксплуатируется на всех континентах земного шара используется как поисковый, спасатель, транспортный, противопожарный, грузовой, в том числе для выполнения авиационных работ с внешней подвеской массой до 5 тонн. So uh, this helicopter is used on every continent uh, of the earth and it's used for all kinds of purposes, for search and rescue, for uh, cargo, for passenger transport, for firefighting purposes, because it also provides for the use of external sling. Uh, with, a, sorry, with, with a payload of up to 5,000 tons, or 5 tons. Also, uh, a unique feature of this helicopter is an external module, external firefighting module, which is SP-32. It is developed and produced in the Russian Federation and it can fit up to 4,000 liters of water. This uh, system allows us to extinguish fires either, ver either vertically by spilling water on it or it also provides for a horizontal telescopic hose that allows it to be used in urban environment and to uh, help extinguish fires on high altitude and in skyscrapers and in complex buildings. Questions please, colleagues. Yeah, tell me. Uh, how much water does it have? 4,000 liters. 4,000 liters. And 4,000 liters. And do you have any facility to uh, refill it? Water? Uh, it uses a regular uh, fire, fi fire firefighting hose with a length of four, 4 meters, the same that fire trucks use. Забор воды может производиться из любого водоема, глубина которого не менее 0,5 метров. And also it can it can pump water from any kind of water reservoir with a depth of no less than uh, 50 centimeters. Okay. На данной картинке как раз представлен забор в зимний период. You can see how it you can see how it's uh, refilling with water in winter on the picture. Okay. Basically, basically, it uses yeah. it, it uses a system of pumps, yeah. and this hose is used to pump water from the yes, from the reservoirs. Suction pump. Yes. You can right. see the pump from the end of the. That side. Okay. Yeah. This this is, this is the pump. This is the pump which goes down. Yes. It provides. And so we, we can use it in any water reservoir with a depth of more than 50 centimeters. Oh. It requires that much depth for sucking. Yes.